Hello, I'm Chris Cadenhead. And I'm Katie Phelps. And we have completed a nine-month-long front-end study for the Seattle Aquarium in preparation for an upcoming habitat remodel. Barney and Q, the harbor seals you see here, will be getting an updated home over the next year. Katie and I are second-year graduate students at the University of Washington, and this project is the culmination of two years of audience research-focused coursework. Initially funded by the Institute for Museum and Library Services, New Directions and Audience Research is a special initiative of the University of Washington Museology Graduate Program, partnering with the Woodland Park Zoo. New Directions is designed to train museology graduate students to understand, support, and engage in audience research and evaluation within informal learning settings. A key component of the training is partnering with local museums who serve as learning laboratories where students work to conduct on-site audience research under the guidance of evaluation mentors and support staff. The Seattle Aquarium is located on the waterfront of downtown Seattle, Washington. It opened in 1977 and hosts approximately 800,000 visitors annually. The mission of the Seattle Aquarium is inspiring conservation of our marine environment. The facility includes 10 primary exhibit areas, which feature a variety of local and non-local marine animals. The Harbor Seal Enclosure is one of the last original facilities at the Seattle Aquarium. The aquarium is about to undertake a $2.5 million renovation of the Harbor Seal exhibit, which is scheduled to reopen in the summer of 2013. This renovation will include a total remodel of the seal habitat, as well as the accompanying interpretive materials. The purpose of this front-end evaluation is to inform the interpretive messaging for the renovation. It will also provide a baseline for comparison in a summative evaluation to be completed after the renovation is finished. We had two goals for this evaluation. The first is to assess visitor knowledge and interest regarding harbor seals. The second is to measure visitor interest and attitudes towards the current exhibit. We utilized a mixed methods approach and randomly sampled all visitors to the aquarium throughout the month of February 2012. Our research goals necessitated the use of three different data collection methods collected independently of each other. The first instrument was a multi-part whiteboard activity. It involved matching, sorting true and false statements about harbor seals, and a brief survey. We discovered that many visitors were knowledgeable about facts that dealt with the local nature of the species, such as they are the most common local marine mammal, and that baby harbor seals are protected by law. We identified misconceptions about harbor seals as well. Most visitors were unaware of the wide geographic range that the animals inhabit, and many believed this species had exterior ears and barked to communicate. Visitors matched seal names with photos of six different seals. Three of the images shown were freebies, and most visitors got them correct. The navy seal, seal the singer, and an elephant seal. About two-thirds of visitors correctly identified the harbor seal. The other third of the harbor seal guesses were matched to images of the fur seal or the sea lion. For the survey portion of this instrument, we asked visitors to circle which three areas of interest they would most like to learn about in regards to harbor seals. We provided them with nine areas of interest. Harbor seal behavior in general, and the story of Barney and Q specifically, were circled most. There was also a lot of interest in the training and conservation of the animals. We used a timing and tracking instrument to identify five pathways which visitors took when passing in the harbor seal exhibit. Approximately one-third, or 33.6% of visitors, entered the exhibit space from the Family Orca Center and stopped at both the inside and outside viewing areas. These visitors spent the most time at the exhibit, with a median time of 2 minutes and 12 seconds. The visitors that spent the least amount of time looking at the harbor seals entered from the Family Orca Center and stopped at the inside viewing area only. Approximately one-third, or 31.2% of visitors, took this pathway. A significant number of visitors, 15.6%, did not stop at the harbor seal exhibit and passed it by walking straight up the hallway. We asked visitors to reflect upon what they did in the exhibit space and why by describing their actions on a map of the harbor seal habitat. Most of the visitors described where they stopped to view the seals. A majority of the stops were from inside the viewing space. This interview technique identified suggestions for exhibit improvement, including an increase in, vis in the visibility of the animals. It also illustrated that visitors are not engaging with exhibit signage 
and were in some cases unaware of the additional viewing opportunities on the finger pier. We reached several broad conclusions after conducting this study. The comments visitors provided and our observations of their use of the current space strongly support the need for a renovation of the harbor seal habitat. People engaged more with the animals when they physically saw Barney and Q and when they explored the exterior area. Also, they are quite interested in learning more about harbor seal behavior, the story of the aquarium's resident harbor seals, and how and why the animals are trained. Based on our evaluation, there are opportunities to improve the current interpretive program by potentially including more comparisons between the harbor seals and other species of pinniped that reside at the Seattle Aquarium. Since the aquarium is about to begin the habitat renovation, we also recommend that they conduct a summative evaluation when the renovation is complete, ideally in the winter of 2014. In that case, we recommend that this evaluation be used as a baseline to assess the effectiveness of the exhibit remodel. Thank you for listening to our evaluation snapshot. If you're interested in reading the full evaluations or have any questions, please email us at the addresses on the screen.